Chevrolet doesn't sell as many Tahos and Suburbans as it does Silverado pickups or Equinox crossovers, but the company's full-size three-row SUVs are still moneymakers. Their combined sales sit third among Chevy's offerings, and the automaker says the two models hold a 40% market share for 2025. The siblings receive a refresh that brings notable interior upgrades, a lightly revised exterior, and a revamped diesel powertrain. The same six trims will be offered, LS, LT, RSD, Z71, Premier, and High Country a fresh look. Styling updates are subtle. The rearranged headlights see the main unit moved lower in the bumper and the top section now dedicated to sharp LED daytime running lights. Premier and High Country models play a lighting animation as the driver approaches and walks away from the SUV, and the taillights feature a more chiseled graphic. The grill designs are also tweaked, and two new colors are available. Cypress gray and lakeshore blue metallic the Z71 is differentiated by a beefier front bumper with an improved approach angle, skid plate, and red tow hooks, as well as Goodyear territory all-terrain tires the cabin is the real focus the gear selector switches move from a series of buttons on the dash to a column mounted stock this frees up more space for the new standard 17. 7-inch touchscreen Angled slightly towards the driver and similar to the screens on of new Chevrolets this display is complemented by a standard 11 0-inch digital gauge cluster, and the whole instrument panel sits lower to improve outward visibility and create an airier feel the crisp new screens also see the center stack reconfigured with sleeker air vents while an array of buttons remain, they are consolidated into a neat row below the vents, sandwiched by climate control dials. RSD models gain victory red stitching. While Premier models receive a new jet black and sky cool gray interior color combo the high country model brings new materials too, including leather seats and real wood trim, a first for the Tahoe and Suburban, as well as a unique jet black and mocha look more power. Under the hood, Chevy now offers a heavily revised version of the Duramax diesel 3.0 liter inline 6. Partnered with a 10-speed automatic gearbox, the six-cylinder now produces 305 horsepower and 495 pound-feet of torque, up from 277 ponies and 460 pound-feet in the outgoing Tahoe and Suburban. The diesel is available across the lineup, making its first appearance in the off-road-oriented Z71 for 2025. The gas-fed 5.3-liter V8, good for 355 horsepower and 383 pound-feet, remains standard on the LS, LT, RSD, Z71 and Premier with 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet. The 6.2-liter V8 is standard on the high country, but it can also be fitted to the RSD, Z71, and Premier Max towing capacity stays at 8,400 pounds for the Tahoe and 8,200 pounds for the Suburban, and new towing aids include a trailer tire health monitor, a boat ramp assist feature, and a navigation option specifically dedicated to towing there is also a new forward path indicator that shows the estimated turning path for both the SUV and the trailer. Chevy claims the suspension has been tweaked for a more refined ride, while the steering calibration is also said to be reworked to provide more feedback air suspension is offered on the High Country and Z71 as well as the RSD trim for the first time GM's adaptive dampers also return their standard on the Premier and High Country and optional on the RSD and Z71 and can be paired with either the normal coilovers or the air suspension. Another first are 24-inch wheels, which can be speccied on the RSD and High Country. There are nine new wheel designs total with 11 other styles carried over from 2024 Smart SUVs. The 2025 Chevy Tahoe and Suburban are packed full of safety features, headlined by Super Cruise, GM's hands-free driving technology, which is optional on the LT, RSD, Premier, and High Country. There is also a new interior motion detector to help ensure no passengers are left behind in the S.U.V.'s rear seats, and it will even send you a text or honk the horn if the initial prompts don't get your attention. There's also a proximity liftgate that simply requires you to stand for three seconds near the rear of the car with the key before it opens on its own. Chevy has added a new connected camera system that allows owners to check on their vehicle while away via an app, including an interior view to see if you left anything behind. It will also capture video in case of a crash saving the recording from 30 seconds before to 30 seconds after the incident the usual suite of safety assists such as lane keep and emergency braking, come standard on the Tahoe and Suburban. The refreshed 2025 Tahoe and Suburban will kick off production in late 2024 at the Arlington Assembly Plant in Texas, with next year marking the 70th year of production at that facility pricing hasn't been announced yet, 
but we don't expect major increases over the outgoing Tahoe and Suburban. The 2024 Tahoe LS base model starts at $58,195, while the High Country opens at $78,895. The 2024 Suburban LS starts at $61,195. $81,895 is the opening bid for the high country.